Welcome to Technically Speaking. Today's topic will be setting up the B Station Quick Tap Tapping Tool. The things that we will cover are installing a tap, installing a pitch assembly, priming the tool's oil pump system, loading the tool and the tank into the machine, and setting the tool's overall length. Let's get started. In order to install our tap, we first need to ensure that the tap pitch matches our insert, which will be marked on the end that receives the tap. To begin, depress the sleeve around the tap holder, install our tap, and if it doesn't drop instantly, slightly rotate the tap until it does drop, then release the sleeve. The tap is now locked in the pitch assembly. We'll need to remove the tool stripper. Do that by slightly depressing the stripper and squeezing the retaining ring. Lift up, release the ring. If your retaining ring is still in the tool, it'll need to be removed now. Do that with a flat blade screwdriver by prying out and lifting up. Before we insert our pitch assembly, we need to ensure the accurate length, which is marked on the flange. The length can be increased or decreased by rotating the tab. Choose one of the notches in the pitch insert and align it with the pin in our lower assembly. Begin dropping the pitch assembly into our tool and if it doesn't drop, slightly rotate the tap until it does. Ensure that the notch aligns with our pin and reinstall our retaining ring. Begin with one end and work our way around. Finally, reinstall our stripper by aligning the notch in the stripper to the pump piston. Squeeze our retaining ring and drop the stripper on. Release the retaining ring and continue to press the stripper down until you hear it click. When installing our tool into the station, ensure that the tool is resting on the lifter mechanism. Place the tank using the magnetic base in a safe location free of obstruction. Next, route our oil hose so that it won't be damaged or catch on something during turret rotation. Use the magnetic ring to assist routing. Rotate the clocking ring as needed. Note that the fitting is reversible. Once the routing has been decided, ensure some slack and cut the line. Replace the fitting by sliding the sleeve on first, pressing the hose onto our fitting, and tightening the sleeve against our fitting. Finally, attached to the tool. And rotate the turret one full revolution while carefully watching for any interference. In order to prime the tool's oil system, we need to fill the oil tank. We're going to use a pump jug, but you could use a screen funnel also through the top of the oil tank. So to fill the pump jug, ensure that you use only Wilson tool tapping oil. It's formulated for the extreme pressures of forming as opposed to thread cutting. So remove the cap, install our pump, hold down slightly while rotating this collar. Finally, turn counterclockwise to activate the pump. With the pump activated, find the 
hose adapter nozzle. Press it onto the end of the spout firmly and ensure that this does not come off. To fill the tank, depress the button on the valve and remove our tool hose and replace with the jug hose. The tank is vented, so no need to loosen anything. Begin pumping, but do not exceed the max fill line that runs along the top of the tank body. When the tank is filled, depress the button and remove the jug hose and reconnect the tool hose. To prime the tool, remove the fill cap from the oil tank and install the priming pump. Ensure the cap is snug to prevent air loss. And begin squeezing the bulb to push air through the tool. Continue to do so until a continuous stream of oil leaves the stripper. Once achieved, quickly loosen the cap to reduce pressure and stop the flow of oil. Remove our priming pump and replace the fill cap. We're back at the machine. The die has been loaded. We're about to set tool length. The tool length is set by selecting the thinnest head cap from our kit, which is four millimeters. Unless you have a Prima Power machine, in which case no head top is to be used. We will not be greasing the head top at this time, but rather when length has been established. Now rotate the turret and place the tool under the ram. With the tool under the ram, evaluate the distance from the bottom of the stripper to the top of the sheath. If it's not close to one millimeter, bring the tool back around and choose a thicker head top. Since our gap wasn't close to one millimeter, we're going to replace the head top with a thicker one. Using a flat blade screwdriver, pop it off. Install a new one. Do not forget to grease underneath the head top once the length has been set. And that's how you set up a B Station Quick Tap. Any questions, contact your sales engineer. And technically speaking, now you know.